If I make good, so I'll make so cute. What I've waited for since since birth. One time with the wizard. Okay, are we testing? Are we this good? is my wicked audition. Oh, okay. I can put my leg there. <laughs> If need be. Hey guys, welcome to a festive taste test. We have done a couple of taste tests on this channel now. We've done one from Paris and we did, oh no, we didn't do it on the channel. We did it on the Patreon. We did a Bucky's taste test. And now we're gonna do a festive Christmassy taste test. We are here with the Christmas tree. You look adorable in your hat. I love it. It's a new hat era for me. It's a beanie era. But we specifically got things from Marks and Spencers, which is like your favorite place to shop. So what, do you wanna start with sweet or savory? Oh, we gotta start with the savory. These are hand-cooked crisps in the flavor prosciutto and formaggio. So cheese and ham. What is Christmassy about formaggio and prosciutto? I'm actually not sure. Like, are we sure that's Christmassy or did you just get some chips and never try? Like, honestly, I don't know. Beef Wellington is Christmassy. Is it? Yeah. Isn't that just a meal? Ooh, oh my God, they smell very Parmesan-y. Scale of one to 10 Christmas trees. Okay. What would we rate them? 10, mm. uh, eight. They're kind of sweet. They taste a bit feety. A bit what? A bit like feet. Yeah. I kind of like that taste. Mm, no, it's good to know that. Not your skanky feet. Yeah. I am going to rate these eight. I'm doing like a four. This isn't, it's a nice cook. I like this crunchy. Oh, I could eat the whole bag. Mm, okay. Eight Christmas trees. Four Christmas trees. Rude. No, not that good. We've got a couple of different drinks yeah, to try. Let's do this one because it's open. Now we've got this purely because Cam has never tried it. It's just Book's Fizz. It's nothing special, but you've never tried Book's Fizz. But is it Christmassy? It's very Christmassy. This is what people drink at Christmas. This is alcoholic, right? Yeah. Mm. It's like champagne with orange juice. But, and see, that's like fabulous to me. Yeah, no, I don't mind Book's Fizz. I don't really like alcohol, but Book's Fizz is fine. Normally you do just buy champagne and orange juice though and like mix it yourself. Oh, it's very fizzy. I'm not getting any oh my god it smells so orangey that is delicious to me Ooh, ooh. you don't like that no why i thought it was gonna be sweeter you know my american palate i mm. crave high fructose corn syrup it tastes like watered down champagne it literally tastes exactly like blood orange san pellegrino gross one out of ten you Christmas would not juice. even drink it i mean i could sip on this with the like a brunch or something if I had to. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Fuck you. Fair enough, okay. But we complete 10. You give it a one, I give it a nine. Yeah. It's a 10 out of 10 from mm. us. <laughs> Get me drunk, baby. Also guys, today I did something to my hair. Let's not talk about it. Okay, but yeah, let's have a dessert. Why are you gonna say I did something to my hair? Let's not talk about it. Because I don't want comments like, what have you done to your hair? I don't know. <laughs> I <laughs> gave it volume and it's like, it's doing something. I think you look beautiful. You always think that, mm -hmm. even when I look like a scrag. Let's try these. These Ooh. are sticky toffee bites. Mm -hmm. It says toffee flavor caramel and date bites covered in thick creamy milk chocolate. Interesting, I don't like dates. Oh, I do. Cheers. Mm, mm hmm they're not too sweet. No, not too sweet, but the caramel's real nice. Mm. A good buttery flavor coming through. I can't taste the date specifically, mm. but it tastes a tiny bit fruity, like raisiny, mm. without the raisins. Oh, I don't think it's that at all. Mm. Mm. I like those. Seven out of 10, maybe. Mm. I'd be happy to get this in my stocking. Mm. I give that an eight. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. Let's just do the other bag of these things. So these are mm. snowy pretzels, white chocolate coated salted pretzels with festive sugar sprinkles. I'm gonna love this. I love a sprinkle. Oh, I've got an extra sprinkly one. Mmm, okay. mm, so many textures. Mm. Oh, it's like crunch on crunch. I like the texture. It's a bit too much chocolate. No. But it's like, that's still like a six or five. It's fine. I could use it. It needs to be a saltier pretzel to balance out the sweet. Oh, I got a salty one. Oh. oh my God, I love the texture of that. That might be my new hyperfixation. Mm -hmm. You just get through the pretzel and then you get hit with sprinkles at the end and it's like, oh, crunch, extra crunch. crunch. Yeah. I give it a seven. It's like a little too chocolatey for me. I don't even love white chocolate, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just hungry. No. Eight. Okay. What a great day. We're going to London tomorrow. We're gonna have to take all these with us to snack on. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. On the train. Oh, we're gonna tear it up on the train. We are actually going to see a show tomorrow. Guess what you think it is. Can you guys tell we've been like missing each other? No, because I edit all these moments out oh, okay. where we just sit and stare at each other. Wow. 10 out of 10. 
Oh, Christmas the way. I didn't even kiss you back. I just <laughs> went. <laughs> so we have got beef Wellington crisps to try. Now that you've said about those not being Christmassy, I'm like, are these even Christmassy in the collection? No, but they're interesting. They're interesting. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> these I mean, are gonna be, be like a 10. A four or five out of it. It's just not a No, flavor. you love it. Right, let's <laughs> You like roast beef monster munch and they smell exactly okay. the same. All right, maybe I will. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. They're better. No, I think the others are better. No, I like these more. They mm. come in with like a balsamic taste at the end. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give them a seven. Mm. Same. Mmm. Mm. Okay. No, I'm going to give them a nine. Are you just hungry? I don't know. I just want to stop filming this and eat these crisps. So <laughs> they must be good. Extremely chocolatey, snowy Yule Log Bites. Babe, I asked. This is basically like a Bouche de Noël, I think. I asked if you guys had Bouche de Noël. What's that? It's a Christmas dessert. I've tried these before, but you haven't. And I Well, they have it, these. It, the French is like a big cake. Mm. It's like a big log. And maybe I'm remembering the wrong names of wrong things, but this looks like it. Okay. It's like a big log covered in chocolate. It's like cakey, chocolatey, and it has something creamy inside too. I feel like this is that. Interesting. I'm excited. Okay, high hopes. These are like. nice. I like oh, them. Oh, yes. This is like a mini cr French log. Mm. You're a mini French log. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. I knew you'd like these. I don't know about the flavor, though. Definitely a solid 10 texture. This is, I like a hard and then soft and then creamy. That's like a five. I give it a five, too, but that's because I'm not that really into chocolate cake, but they are nice. I think it needs more sugar. I think it needs some high fructose corn syrup and then I would like it. Americans are just cursed with mm. their palates. Yeah. You grow up with insanely sweet things. It's ridiculous. But on sweetness level, it's hard for us, I think. We've got something that I've never tried before. This is Stolen Bites. And it says, with plump rum-soaked vine fruits and soft marzipan. Oh, I hate marzipan. Yeah, I don't know that I'm gonna like these. I don't like fruity desserts. Take a piece of Stolen. Should we just split one? Yeah, let's split one. Oh, it's gooey. Ooh. Oh, I don't know that I can eat this. <laughs> eat it. I eat know. it. I think it's Eat it. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to swallow. <laughs> I don't like the marzipan. And actually, there's some flavors in there I appreciate. I actually like that strong almond flavor. I'm proud of you for eating that. Yes. I saw this. Gingerbread milkshake. Yeah. How exciting. I love milkshake. Y'all's milkshakes aren't good. Milkshakes here are amazing. Your milkshakes are so sweet. I could have one sip and then want to die. Sometime this summer, I was just craving and craving chocolate milk. And I kept getting chocolate milks and chocolate milkshakes. And I think I got an M&S chocolate milk. And it was just like, it, w it wouldn't hit. It wasn't hitting. It was like the flavor of chocolate with no sweetness. Yeah, our chocolate and milkshakes are actually quite bitter. You go, I don't wanna. Mm -mm. Oh, I like it. I don't like that. Ooh, that, Ooh. Uh, that ginger aftertaste. Yeah, it's the ginger aftertaste that's so strong. Oh, that is strong. It tastes like, it tastes like raw ginger. It's nice when you're drinking it and then you get the aftertaste and it's like, I mean, Ooh. it is like a gingerbread milkshake, but to me it tastes more like a ginger milkshake. <laughs> like gingerbread is like very sweet and it has just a, t a hint of that twang. It's growing on me. That tang, okay. I, I, this just isn't for me. I'm being such a Grinch, but- You are. I give that like a two or a one. Like I would not want to drink that. I give it a four. I could drink it, but it wouldn't be my preference. Ham made us buy 10 pound chocolates. Who do you think I am? Bill Gates? Yeah. These are salted caramel pine cones. I don't like salted caramel. I do. It's like one of my favorite, like my go-to, honestly. A salted caramel something. Oh. I feel like this is like a nice, like it's a, a casual gift. gift you could give someone. Yeah. Like a coworker, you could yeah. pop over. Just like, you know, not put a lot of thought in yeah. something. A neighbor that you're not close with, like you hand in the box of pine cones. It's kind of a nice box. Take a pine cone. Oh, a nice snowy one. Ooh. They're, and they're cute too. Like, look at the detail on this. Mm. I'm not gonna like it. And they're 10 pounds. I don't want to waste it for you. Okay, well, do you want to, I'll take a bite then you Yeah. Okay. Mm. You just like ate that out. That's like an eight, nine. I'm sweetened out. Mm. We've had too much sweets in this already. Like if I was craving sweet, if I was craving like caramel, I would love that. Like that's an eight or nine. I maybe need a glass of milk with it. No, the caramel tastes weird to me. Oh, well, it's salty. I give those pine cones a one. Maybe a zero. I couldn't have another bite of that. It is raining so much right now. This is my first English storm. Oh no, you've had an English storm before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I'm in a bad mood. When you're PMSing. I That's come through. through. Like, 
That's true. Higgs in blankets combo mix. You know I'm gonna love this. Hammy queen that I am. Now can I ask, how do the British make a pig in a blanket? Oh, your pig in blanket is like a sausage roll. You are bizarre. Well, there's a few different ways we make it. Sometimes we take a hot dog and wrap dough around it and bake it. The way my mom made it is she got little Smokies, which yeah, you like. I like those. You like, they're like little baby wieners. Then we do American cheese. My mom, that's how my mom does, and then the dough. And I so mean, it's it sounds cheesy. It's nice, but that is not a pig in blanket. So, how do y'all make it? A pig in a blanket is a sausage wrapped in bacon. And yeah. it's one of the best things on a Christmas dinner. This is my favorite style of crisp that m and made. And I want you to tell me if you've tried them, what your favorite shape is, because mine is the pinwheel. Mmm. It's very hammy and meaty. Imagine those with some mm. like hummus. The or... pinwheel's nicer. I love a pinwheel. I don't share my pinwheels with anyone, so you're very lucky. These are nice too. Mm. Yeah, that's a seven. I could definitely sit and eat these, especially if I was craving, they're very salty. Like mm. they do taste like bacon and ham. Yeah, they um, do. Just, if I was craving salty, like I've been out on a hike sweating, I would like that. If I'd been sat inside all day, <laughs> I would like that. <laughs> So every day you'd want these? Yeah. Oh. So I reckon these dipped in hummus to take some of the saltiness away. Or mm. like a garlic dip or mm. something. Oh, or we have like French onion dip. Mm. Do you guys have that? Mm -hmm. That would be good. Like a sour cream. Mm. I'm giving these an eight. Yeah. You're right there. You're right, my strong man. What have you done? You've messed it up. Okay, this is so cute. It's sparkle wine. I'm not gonna like this at all. I can tell you that right now, but that milkshake has like <laughs> hit me really badly. Yeah. I'm regurgitating ginger. <laughs> this is alcoholic sparkling grape based beverage with peach liquor and edible gold leaf. Oh, I might like it. I love peachy things. I don't, but this looked cute. Oh, what? Uh, the can we just appreciate Cam's beanie? I love the Christmas transition in hats. Mm. You're just a hat girl. I know, people ask, I just like to wear hats. It's she fine. Just, it's like part of the aesthetic of it being Cam. I didn't have one on last night. Yeah. Too strong. Not sweet enough. That is the kind of alcohol that I cannot stand. I'm so shocked you don't like books, Fizz. This to me tastes just like a Fanta. No, ew, no. Taste that now after that horrible stuff. I can't stand white wine. I mean, it tastes better than that. This is nice. That is grim. That get, I'm going to give that a zero because I wouldn't drink another drink no. of that. No, me neither. Only if I wanted to get lit, but then I'd still choose vodka. Gross. Gross. Sorry, m &S. It's very pretty. The Bugs Fizz does taste better now that it's settled and I'm comparing it to that. I'm like, whenever I rate it, give it another point. Just yeah. for being better than that, we'll take it up a little. Okay. <laughs> well, that gets a zero Christmas trees. What are yeah. you giving it? Oh, zero. That's, I do not like that. Gross. Yeah. Let's move on to these cute little things. So this is a golden blonde caramel tree. And we've also got a milk chocolate bubble Santa. Let's do the caramel tree. I love the little, doesn't that elf look like me? Yeah. Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, look at this little tree. It's cute. so cute. You wanna have it? Mm. It's too caramelly. It's a very deep flavor. All that browned butter. Yeah. Blonde, browned butter. It's like you're eating treacle. Mm. If you know what treacle is. I don't. It's okay. Mm. It's like a four or five. If I was in the mood for like a fudgy, sweetie, browned butter, buttery, that yeah. really tastes like treacle. Now for the bubbly Santa. Aww. What a chubby little man. It's like if we had a kid. <laughs> what? He would look like this. I don't think he would. He's so cute. I don't think he would look like Santa Claus. I do. <laughs> look at this little Santa. Oh my God. I want to take him home and just love him. Well. Oh, how can you eat it? Do you not want to eat it? He's very cute. <laughs> I don't think it's that cute. You just love men. Mm-hmm. Mm. It just tastes like chocolate. Yeah. It's fine. It's very cute. Six, seven out of ten. Mm. I would buy it just for how cute it is. That was a thrill in itself mm. to open that. Mm. Oh wow. Well I have high hopes for this. How could we do a taste test without eating mince pies? Now what I'm confused about is it's called mince meat pie. I always not a scrap of meat in it. I'm confused with that too. I don't understand why mincemeat is mincemeat, but someone will know and they'll tell us. Someone say in the comments, please, because I don't get it. These to me are superior with the icing on. These are the ones that I like, but you can get them where the pastry just goes like over the top as well. I do love pastry. See, I think you'll like the icing because it'll bring more sweetness all to right, it because right. they're not that sweet. Let's get into it. I do have to say though, I think Sainsbury's had the nicest mince pies last year. Oh my God, what's wrong with you? I don't know, you can get nothing. 
Why can't you take the case off? I tried, it just wouldn't go. Yes, it will. Literally, how? <laughs> See, that's what we, I didn't want to break it all over your carpet. How easy was that? <laughs> I mean, you had some issues. How easy was that? <laughs> she had some issues, guys. I've got issues, babe. <laughs> that's nothing new. Yeah. I'm not sure what you're gonna think about this. Well, I don't like fruity desserts, and this has fruit in it, right? I've only just started liking mince pies okay. in like the last year or so. Mm. I don't like the fruit. Mm. The, the pastry is nice. The icing is, it's a one. You are gonna hate Christmas pudding. <laughs> I give that, for a mince pie, I give it like a seven. Mm. It, some of the flavors coming through are nice. I taste some cinnamon, yeah. maybe some nutmeg, mm -hmm. some allspice, or like, maybe is that allspice in there? She's a chef. But I don't like the texture of fruit. I don't like the forward, it tastes very blueberry-ish. Blueberries in that? No. Blackberries? Why is it all in French? Raisins? Well, that means grapes. Fine. Remember in France when I ordered a coffee? I ordered a, a, <laughs> a, a ice caramel macchiato in French and you were so cringed out. I literally walked away. But I but... wanted to do it. I took French for over a decade. You can't tell. If I can't say je voudrais uh, caramel macchiato. It's not, it's not the fact that you were like, je voudrais on caramel macchiato. I didn't say that. I said caramel macchiato. You went. I didn't say you went, no, 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 no. You went, je Voudre. That is not. Um, I said je voudre. No, you said je. I did not. Well, voudre. I was nervous. She's a hater. She's just jealous of my skills. Je. She's such a hater. Voudre. Defend um, me in the comments. Caramel macchiato. <laughs> That's how you did it. And I went, I'm off. I said je voudre un caramel macchiato. I went, see ya. <laughs> not with her. Guess what we're having tonight? We're having a great big cheese board tonight and I can't wait. Including a big old back vat of camembert. Yeah, camembert that we're gonna bake in the oven. And we've got a, an entire baguette. Mm. We've got rosemary and salt crackers. We've got a whole cheese platter. If you wanna see this, it'll be in a vlog by the way, mm. but I can't wait, especially after eating all this. I'm like, give me that cheese. You know, I was named after camembert cheese. No, you weren't. I am. <clears throat> You're not funny. <laughs> her first hair vlog, her haircut vlog went live today. Yeah. Let her know in the comments how good it looks. Aw. Thank you. It's very, I don't know, we're not talking about it today, remember? Oh, right. I've told them not to talk. Okay, there's a storm coming in. We're gonna watch horror films and eat cheese. Yay. I hope you enjoyed this video. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. I wish we had jingle bells to like jingle <laughs> at the end. <laughs> Let's um, do that and I'll insert jingle sounds. Jingle, jingle, jingle. <laughs> Wicked if you're watching. <laughs> I can do it in jeans too. <laughs>